In this section, we've learned what is contact and why should we consider it in our engineering analysis. We've seen how two different objects can interact with each other by transferring forces between them and how the way they transfer these forces can result in different contact forms. We have also learned about the origins of friction and how various factors play their role in resulting in a complex behavior for friction. Although we discussed about the numerical modeling of contact, we did not do a deeper dive into this topic. This is not truly related to the physics of contact, but it's very important to have a basic understanding of how contacts are treated numerically, so one can make informed decisions on capturing the physical behavior correctly.